another day another youtuber being exposed as a creep i don't know what it is about youtube and popularity on the website but for some reason there's a statistical increase of you being a creep the more subscribers you get i mean even on a small level for me a couple subscribers pour in and i have the temptation to go to my local strip joint so i can only imagine the demons mr beast fights on a daily basis now, speaking of Mr. Beast, recently his friend and business partner, Chris Tyson, recently renamed Ava Tyson, was in a bit of hot water because it was revealed a few years ago that this person had conversations of the lurid type with underage individuals. He was essentially having inappropriate conversations with minors, and this was exposed, this was pushed out against him with allegations and with enough information that Mr. Beast actually came out and said that he is ceasing business operations with this person, basically took the corporate angle of having HR fire this person, having someone come in and investigate it, and ceasing operations with them. Now, obviously, there's the most immediate YouTube drama perspective of yet another YouTuber, just like Dr. Disrespect is exposed for talking to minors. It is a situation where their image is being besmirched and they're ruining their brand and likely will not have any type of comeback. I mean, the most they can do is make an apology video, playing a ukulele and hope for the best. But in all reality, there's no coming back for this. But there's also another L that Chris Tyson accrued with this action. This person essentially attacked and destroyed a portion of Mr. Beast's credibility because he allowed a person who essentially is a child predator and mentally deranged be around children because Mr. Beast makes a lot of videos with kids for kids. And at the same time, the biggest L that came out of this and honestly, if this is something that Chris Tyson or Ava Tyson aligns himself politically or feels like they have any type of tie to ideologically, they really took a huge L, is that last year when Chris Tyson was first transitioning, he basically came out and said that this is the real me, this is, this is basically what I want to do, and he kind of got into arguments with people on Twitter where people were saying that you're selfish, you're transitioning, you're abandoning your family, you're taking a father figure away from your child. Chris Tyson then went on to argue with people talking about transgender ideologies and other pieces of information and the retort to this is saying that a lot of people said that you are mentally deranged, you're a person who should not be trusted, Mr. B should not work with you because you're an irreverent person and all of those allegations, all that hate, all the salt from last year just compounded and blew up like a volcano and all these people were proven right. They essentially had a magical stereotype that now exists even stronger in this online space. Chris Tyson, whether he knows it or not, became a transgender identification token. He essentially became a person that yapped his head off about how he's living his true self and that he can finally be gender free and that through this new ideology and through this new find, he's finally happy. And he just argued with people. He tried to become some type of a spokesperson for this. And it has completely blown up in his face where now people are basically taking him as yet another example as a YouTuber creep and at the same time an individual who transitioned and is a child groomer because that is an extremely strong stereotype of these individuals who are of the transgender variety where you have drag shows of them trying to read books to kids and people see that as again grooming children other pushes for political visibility in schools looks like again trying to normalize it for children and now you have chris tyson who basically has fallen into this exact stereotype i mean this is crazy this is like when obama was being accused of being actually african and if obama had become president and tried to sell the nation to nigeria like do you understand what they would look like you basically were the guy every bad thing people were saying about you was true you're the individual so with chris tyson basically falling into this loop of yapping on twitter and sharing so much about his personal life and trying to become some type of representative for an ideology he subscribed to he essentially became a grenade that pulled everything down with him and it seems like the twitter haters are eating good today they are mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. eating good today they are basically taking salt and caramelizing that dead crispy crust that is the corpse of Chris Tyson. At this point in time, bro better come out and just do a crazy apology video with an electric guitar. Uh, Mr. Beast took a major L and he's gonna have to actually address this. Whether he likes it or not, I guarantee you put money on God, he's gonna have to make a video, whether it be on his secondary channel, main channel, addressing the fact that this dude was a creep and a predator and that he's sorry and will be more careful when vetting people who are working with him and working with kids 
because again, Mr. Beast is Mr. Disney and he's a very corporate individual. At the end of the day, Chris Tyson took a grenade and made major L's come out. And honestly, it's something that is unfortunate to see because it's an unfortunate action. But at the same time, whenever you see a story that develops like this, where you have a group of people who have a bad feeling about a person, whether it be because of good reasons or bad reasons, I mean, these people legitimately could have just hated the guy because he was someone who was transitioning and didn't care anything about his character. But listen, when a hound dog smells that scent, there might be a convict at the end of the trail, and boy, did they find him. They caught him. Somebody get Chris Hansen, because this bro is out here tweaking. <laughs> got him. We fucking got him. <laughs> at the end of every single video, make sure you ask people to rate and subscribe to your content. It makes them feel like they're involved, even though they're really not. And most importantly, make sure they comment on every single video. If you have to, disguise it. You know, call it something like the question of the day. And really make them think you're going to really read it when you really don't have to. Ha ha ha!